Rapid response is an attempt to capture the physical impact of an event, whether it's an earthquake, a volcanic eruption, or a hurricane on the physical environment. These storms, these earthquakes, these volcanic eruptions, these are the blink of an eye. And whether it's moving of sand off Long Island, cooling lavas in a volcanic eruption, or the impacts of a tsunami, we've got to get out there quickly in order to capture what we call those ephemeral responses of Mother Nature to her own cataclysms. That's our goal. Geology is important to everybody in this country, whether they know it or not. I cannot think of one single place in this country that is not under threat from natural disaster at some point. The Rapid Response Program allows us to partner up with other universities and go into the communities that have been affected by these huge natural disasters. When Hurricane Sandy hit, we knew it was a momentous event, uh, a many decades event. It was called a superstorm for a reason. We knew it would have fundamental impacts on the seafloor and the subsea floor, which is what we look at generally. It's most directly important to people who live on barrier island systems. They're not stable places, and storms strongly affect that by eroding the barrier systems. They, they take away a lot of sand and they move it to other places. And one of the things we're trying to understand is, is where that sediment is taken from and where it goes to. It could have a long-term effect on the health of the barrier island system. And by degrading it, we reduce the, the effectiveness of the barrier and the ability for people to, to live on those systems. We were out there, I think, January 4th, so we got out there as soon as we could, arrange a schedule um, for the ship. So that was you know, a couple months after the hurricane happened. So it's, it wasn't easy. It was very hard. We were on the big boat, the Sea Wolf, for five days at a time. I was on the midnight to noon shift, and so we would get up at midnight, collect our data, go back and forth and back and forth, making one big map of the area. Then we switched to a much smaller boat to do uh, inland work in the bays and, and whatnot, map in there. And then the, then our good luck went, went all, <laughs> all out the window. We had some of the coldest temperatures that they had ever had there that winter. The winds were howling at 30 knots. It was, it was ridiculous to work in, in places that are affected by these storms is, uh, is a real challenge. Rapid response requires extraordinarily diverse scientific talents and broad technical and equipment-based capability. The staff and students of the Institute for Geophysics are poised globally and without links to the academic calendar to be ready to respond to disasters anywhere in the world. And then with funding from the Jackson School, institute staff and students can be in a position to collaborate as necessary to do what they have to do to respond. If you have to go through the whole process of applying for aid, it can take months. And by then, especially in a coastal system, all of your evidence would have been washed away with currents and tides. UT has developed a rapid response program to cut through all the red tape so that we can get there right after the event. The Jackson School has, has been able to put people in places like Haiti, Solomon Islands, Sumatra, uh, as well as Galveston for Hurricane Ike and Long Island for uh, Hurricane Sandy. Getting ourselves out there on the front line and meeting people and being seen by people who are affected by the event is, is very important. It puts a face on science and says we want to help. And if we're going to be relevant, we have to be engaging our students, we have to be engaging our colleagues and our technical people in service to the public. And the Jackson School, because we are big, because we are diverse, because we are global, we can play a role that virtually no one else in the United States can play as a partner with local institutions to deal with these events. Science can play a role in helping society prepare for the next one because there is always another one.